GMGM, GM, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Josh Gordon. I'm here to talk about the merge. So shout out to everybody at Unstoppable Domains. Shout out to everybody in the NFT and crypto community. This video is for you. Before we begin, I also want to give a big shout out to the learning and development team at Unstoppable Domains, and specifically Marimo, for helping put together a lot of the information that I want to share with you all today. So if you're in the crypto space, you've probably heard of the merge. Now, if you haven't, it's an upgrade happening to the Ethereum blockchain. It's the second biggest blockchain behind Bitcoin. And there's a lot of hype surrounding this upcoming event, so let's break it down. So in this video, we're gonna take you through what is the merge, why it's so important, how it will happen, when it's expected to take place, what this means for the future of Ethereum, and how this affects the economics of Ethereum. So this is what you need to know. So what is the merge? Well, it's a highly anticipated upgrade that will transition the Ethereum blockchain from proof of work to proof of stake. So this means that mining will no longer be possible on the network and validators who stake their Ethereum will be used to verify transactions. It's the largest upgrade in Ethereum's history and could potentially have a profound impact on the entire crypto ecosystem. So it's called the merge because independent blockchains are literally merging together. The main Ethereum blockchain is merging with the Beacon chain. So when and how will the merge happen? The merge has been an ongoing effort that's gone through many test steps. So far, all of these tests have been successful. The first one was Ropsten in June, Sapolia in July, Gorelli in August, and all three successfully transferred to proof of stake. The final step will be triggered sometime between September 10th and September 20th, but right now it's looking like the target will be September 15th. The plan is to do this instantaneously with no network downtime, which has already been done successfully on all the Ethereum test nets. This is a really significant technological challenge and will be a massive achievement. You know, changing the consensus protocol without interrupting any transactions has people likening it to changing the engine of an airplane mid-flight. So the transition from proof of work to proof of stake will require a majority of users and operators on the existing Ethereum network to acknowledge the proof of stake network as the authentic network over the abandoned proof of work one through their chain activity and resource allocations. So let's break that down a little bit further. So these acknowledgements have occurred overwhelmingly from exchanges, miners, you know, dApps, everyone who is a major platform, thought leader, infrastructure operator in the space, they're coming out and they're officially saying the proof of stake network is the official network of the Ethereum blockchain, the one that will be used and operated on. Now, to motivate the vast majority of Ethereum miners to accept the upgrade, which requires ceasing to validate the proof of work network and instead stake their ETH in favor of proof of stake. Now, the Ethereum developers chose an incentive mechanism called the difficulty bomb. So this is a scheduled event built into the Ethereum code that will reduce the ETH rewarded to miners to an unprofitable level, thus effectively making the proof of work network economically unviable. So the goal here is to prevent a hard fork. You see, we don't want all these miners to be incentivized to keep mining, right? We want the incentives to be to transition over to proof of stake. We've even seen, you know, some of the mining pools like Ethermine, the largest Ethereum mining pool, they've come out and announced that they will not support proof of work and they will be fully transitioning to proof of stake. So let's talk about why even merge in the first place. Well, to start, we need to define proof of work and proof of stake a little bit more. Proof of work is a consensus mechanism that secures the blockchain by having miners who race to solve these cryptographic equations to validate the latest block transactions. Now, if you win the race, you're rewarded with a little bit of ETH, and these miners require expensive mining hardware, and they consume tons of electricity for computing power. Proof of stake, on the other hand, secures the blockchain by having these validators lock up ETH, and they stake it as collateral to prove their trustworthiness and for a chance to update the blockchain for the latest verified block of transactions, and they earn ETH as a reward. So if you lie and process false transactions, your staked ETH amount can be what's called slashed, and that's when it's taken away. So this incentivizes positive interaction on the Ethereum blockchain. Now let's talk about three reasons for the merge. One, it significantly reduces less energy usage. By switching to proof of stake, energy usage is eliminated and it drops by over 99.95%. 
because miners aren't racing to solve these computationally intensive problems anymore. So a computer running a validating node shouldn't use much more energy than it would from normal use. Now this is really significant because a reduction in power consumption will lower the Ethereum blockchain's carbon footprint and concerns about blockchains impacting the Earth's climate. And so all that negative conversation will decline. With proof of stake, it's estimated that the updated blockchain will use 1,300 times less energy than the entire U.S. gaming ecosystem combined. That's incredible. Two, this really increases the security and decentralization of Ethereum. Without the need for massive mining operations, anyone with a decently powerful laptop can run a staking validator if they wanted to. So this makes proof of stake more accessible for anyone who wants to help validate it, which should increase the number of network participants, thus increasing its security and decentralization. Currently, there's more than 400,000 validators on the Beacon chain. So how do you become a validator on this network? Well, the main barrier to setting up your own validating node on proof of stake is owning enough ETH to deposit into the smart contract. Now you need 32 ETH as the minimum number to stake on your own. Now there's other ways to do this by joining a staking pool, for example, but it's not quite the same as staking your own Ethereum node. Now, the third reason has to do with financial implications. So let's dive into that. Now, it reduces ETH's issuance. 90% of the amount of ETH that's given out per day will be reduced. So currently, proof of work pays miners approximately 13,500 ETH daily as rewards. After the merge, that number will drop by around 90% because the proof of stake network doesn't need to pay nearly as much to validators for securing it. Lower cost of stake mechanisms are far more efficient, and most people consider this very bullish. Now you have to think about the economics for miners. They have to sell their mining rewards to cover the cost of electricity and hardware, but stakers don't have those expenses, and this removes about $7.5 billion yearly in sell pressure from the market. So this essentially creates a new buyer of over $7 billion of ETH yearly. So less sell pressure combined with the same equal or more buy pressure. Where do you think the price goes? Not financial advice, but I'm bullish on this. Now we also have to talk about how ETH will be burned with transactions following the London upgrade. And this could mean that more ETH is burned than is issued on particularly active days. This creates what people are calling ultrasound money. Lastly, this makes ETH a native yield bearing asset. So yield is a common term in crypto and DeFi, and it's usually associated with crazy returns from tokens that don't have much value or use. And it's used as a tactic to get people to use a currency or protocol. But now with proof of stake, if you stake, you can get 4.5% yield directly from the protocol. That's an amazing return to get on an asset just for staking. So how does this fit into the larger Ethereum roadmap? Well, this has been a long held goal for Ethereum developers, even all the way back from July 2015. So the anticipation for this is super high and it will help promote decentralization, lower energy consumption, and improve Ethereum scalability and functionality in the long run. So after the merge, the Ethereum roadmap includes enabling sharding, which should help improve the scalability, and the Shanghai upgrade, which will allow people to withdraw their ETH from the staking mechanism. Now to wrap up, does the merge have any effect on you? So the real answer here is no. You know, unless you're a miner who's been mining ETH, you really don't have to do anything. If you're holding ETH on exchanges, you're safe. If you have coins in a personal or hardware wallet, you may get airdropped tokens if there's a hard fork, but still you don't have to do anything. So if there is anyone reaching out to you asking for your private keys or telling you that you need to do something, in order to access an airdrop, that's a scam. Please be careful out there. Anytime you go through a major upgrade, there's gonna be people trying to take advantage of you. So beware of scammers asking you to share your private keys or pretending to be a crypto company or exchange. Some common misconceptions about the merge, gas fees really won't change at all and transactions won't go through any faster. Those kinds of changes will happen later on the Ethereum roadmap. And lastly, does the merge have any effect on unstoppable domains? 
And the answer is no. You know, in the case of a perfect transition by the ETH developers, there's no impact on our infrastructure. We will be monitoring the situation and the, and the change very carefully, but there is no risk to your NFTs. There's no risk to what we're doing. Everything will be operating as normal. And that's my breakdown of the ETH merge. I hope this was helpful for you and you learned something and you better understand why this is so important. You know, it impacts the financials of ETH and impacts the environmental impact of ETH and sets Ethereum up for future updates on the roadmap that will help improve scalability, gas fees, and transaction times. So I'm excited to see this go through. This was this is a fun event for all of us in NFTs, Web3, crypto, and anyone who's excited about the metaverse. This is fun, and it's great to see this space continue to innovate and push forward. So I have a question for you. Are you going to stake? Are you going to be a validator? I want to know. All right. Peace out.